that's the lovely view we've got up here spent a couple of days up here mainly to um, to get the editing done we've had a few little side effects that we hadn't imagined did we yeah headaches I feel like I've got a hangover yeah and uh, the fridge is using a whole heap more gas. Oh, that you see, it keep, just keeps coming on and off and on and off all the time. Yeah, our heart rates are up quite considerably as well. Yeah, I mean, mine was say What did I do before? Mine normally sits 104. My resting heart rate is like 58. Stop. Coop's like a little mountain goat, though. Oh, I love the snow. He's just bear. absolutely loving it, and it doesn't seem to be bothering Coop at all, apart from he's getting, he's having a good old nap when we get back in yeah. here. So. But yeah couple of days to edit the video get that done so i'm going to upload it now it's thursday night so you obviously get to watch it within about an hour or two of me finishing the video uh banging signal up here which is pretty good <laughs> yeah. 50 meg upload so hopefully it should upload nice and quick and um we were hoping to make it back down the mountain today but it's going to be too dark by the time we do all this so probably get yeah. up early in the morning and scoot down there we don't particularly want to do because these are proper oh, like, yeah. switch back roads with a drop on one side so we want yeah. to be uh, have our wits about us in yeah. as much daylight as we possibly can when we make our way back down very slowly yes absolutely nice but we've had a lovely time in the mountains and oh, it's um been beautiful. i'm so glad that we came up babe. i was a bit i was a bit and, uh, um the word beginning with s i was a bit skeptical skeptical Apparently like, that, why apparently would you go to the mountains? It bothers your thingies as well, you know. Really? What, yeah. your memory? Yeah, recall? it makes you worse, so it's me. Oh, that, I, I've just been wow. in the mountains for the past 10 years. <laughs> well, your head's in the sky. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's good to be set over there, pal. Um, yeah, I was a bit sceptical about coming away from the coast a little bit because yeah. we know that Coop likes beaches and stuff, but you're just like, come on, there is so much more to see. Let's just get away and yeah. go and explore for a bit because it's... it's quieter and yeah. it's nicer when it's quieter yeah and um yes i am regretting shaving my beard off already yeah he did, he did it yes not yesterday the day before we yeah. literally had a stumpy feet paddy outside the door because his trimmer wasn't no, it was yesterday his... morning no it wasn't yesterday morning we were it was just oh my goodness yeah. yeah oh my goodness it was yesterday <laughs> Altitude sickness, you see. Uh, yesterday morning, yeah, he did have a stumpy feet paddy outside the van because his trimmer wasn't going through his beard properly. Yeah, I tried to trim it, and it wasn't actually trimming. It was just cutting, but dragging and stuff like that. And in the end, I was just like, ah, I'm fed up with it being wiry all over the place and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I just chopped it off. And now, having watched the video back, because obviously I have to watch myself, which I don't really like that much, um, I prefer me with a beard than me without a beard. There we go, there's Mandy. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely lovely location and um, lovely peaceful night's sleep as well. I mean like really peaceful. Not a sound, not a bother. I did uh, see all the the lights of the city and everything. I think it's Granada that's down there and some of the stuff around there. And they were twinkling away all night. So that was really cool to see. But then we've parked up in this little kind of, I suppose it's an old little area for people to get um, ski sort of supplies and stuff, but it doesn't look like it's been used in many, many, many years. Uh, there's a, a pretty much a new complex way down the valley down there. Uh, you can see where there's a football pitch, some hotels, and what you can't see kind of down that area um, is a brand new sort of ski resort and everything like where all the new ski lifts are and everything. Um, believe it or not, there are people still living up here full time apparently. Um, but we thought we'd just stay out of the way, stay well clear of it all. <laughs>
people are asking how efficient is our vehicle so as you can see we've got just under a full tank and um, we're doing just under well just over 40 miles an hour and we've got 950 miles range so that's how efficient our van is Good morning. Join us at a uh, lovely beach park up. Cooper, come here. Come here, buddy. There's the beach. There's the van. There's the car park. And in the background, there's the castle. Just over my shoulder. Isn't it nice? Cooper's loving the beach as well, aren't you, pal? Yeah, I like the beach. Oh, he's such a good boy. Yeah, the beach better than the mountains. What do you prefer, buddy? Beach or snow? Definitely a beach boy, aren't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, and some of you noticed Mandy's message to to someone as well. Don't be a doorknob. <laughs> is that for you, Coop? Not for me, is it? It's not my message. I would say to you, because see, people ask us a lot whether we um, ever fall out. Yeah. And uh, that's the result, isn't it? After a yeah. After a falling out. Yeah. So. It makes me happy to see it because I'm saying it without having to say it. And then John can just read it instead of me. So you know not to be a knob, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Which you know, But it's also Cooper as well. It's, it is also Cooper. Cooper can be a bit of a knob. Look, yeah. Look, see, look at that. Flip -flops. Trashed it already. Oh, Coopy. Yeah, someone said I must have the cleanest van in Spain. But I mean, if you want to keep it clean, it looks nice when it's clean. Obviously we do have to conserve water, which is right now pretty bad because um, this area we're in, um, which is um, Matril, I was trying to remember what it was now. Um, we came down here earlier this year when we were um, traveling around with Greg and Lou, and there was loads of peach um, park ups around here, but now they've all been closed off with height barriers and everything else. So it also means that um, there's no water supply or anywhere to dump the waste or anything like that. So fortunately at this little beach car park uh, there are some bins so uh, we're going to tidy up here which as you can probably see is pretty filthy so we're going to give that a tidy up put it all in the bin along with our rubbish um, the loo we should be all right for about a week or so plus we've got the spare cassette um, but we've only got about half a tank of um, water so that will be our next biggest issue. Um, it's a really really interesting thing when we were up the mountain 8,000 odd feet up uh, we went through a tank of LPG in about three days because um, the fridge was obviously burning full. It seemed that everything took longer. Uh, we had the heating on because it was freezing. Um, so yeah, that's the only downside. Oh, and one thing I have started this week, um, over on my other channel, Gadget John, I'm going to start um, showing you how we make our travel videos. So I'm going to go full in depth. If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or if you've already started a YouTube channel and you're just unsure about stuff like that, I'm going to go full into all the gear I use, how I use it, what each camera is good for, filming techniques, editing, the software I use, the techniques that I use, from the little tiny things to the big things that make a difference. Um, and also we're going to talk about YouTube, um, how I uh, operate the channel on YouTube, you know, the tags that I use, the important things that I put on there and um, that hopefully are helping our videos reach the most people and ultimately, you know, which is 
not the end goal but it's nice um to get more of a payout as well for your views so yeah that's starting um so by the time this video is out by the time you watch this um you'll be able to find a video about that um not sure exactly how often i'm going to be doing it um maybe weekly or bi-weekly um, but go check out uh, gadget john channel and um you can see what i'm up to right so i've not really shown anything to do with this however this is what happens when mandy wants to eat everything so in here we've got ham and cheese tater croquettes which are brilliant and they sell them in, in bags for like a euro in uh, in Lidl with a packet of ham chopped ham and some chicken pieces in there with cheese sauce and cheese and cheese and cheese and cheese and um my god it looks amazing so it's just literally all been chucked in the frying pan so we're going to enjoy that one that's epic Don't mind me. Hey. Mandy and Cooper enjoying the last day on the beach for a couple of weeks. Coop's a bit of a weird one. He doesn't like the sea if it goes, well, up to his belly. And he definitely doesn't like it if it's near his face. You and your bar. Are you ready? Wait, 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 wait. Ready? Hey. I go boy, I get your ball. I'm not over there though. What's the word world effect coming to Moopy? Bring your ball. Come on. Good boy. Ready? There we go. All right, all right. I take it back a little bit. It is nice being by the sea. And you got little spots like this, all to yourself. That's um, Barbea and that kind of thing, way over that way. And uh, we're just on the outside of a little village. From what we can work out, this is where all the local fishermen park up. Got a nice view of a castle and some houses up there. And that's where we're parked up. So, it's all right. But we are heading back to the mountains because um, it is so much nicer in the mountains. in a little service point you can stay here the night as well for 11 euros but we've just needed to empty the loo and get some water <laughs> oh yeah he's got the uh, the right idea some uh, expensive vans here that's for sure nice little coastal view there uh, we're near Torox Torox or something like that which is on the way to Toro del Mar but yeah oh would you look at that imagine the places you could get to with that thing Hey. Look at these, it's like a wall of painted rocks by the reception. This is just the place that we've um, that we stopped to refill at. How cute is that? It's like a wall of coolness. I like that.
I'm going to do the quickest and easiest one pan meal because it is a half past five and we starving man so I have for the list mushrooms sausages carne pasta so pasta with meat in it a chicken stock cube sweet corn oh they're laughing at that uh, sweet corn and then cheesy Greek yogurt so what I'm planning to make with all of this is um, a pasta in a creamy sauce with uh, tarragon and mustard because you know I like that but it's going to be like tortilla filled pasta with sausages as well. I'm just going to give that a very quick stir just to make sure that nothing burns. The sausages won't cook as quick as the mushrooms so um, I'm not particularly worried about that because they will cook again when I put the um, tortellini and the water in there so it kind of boil them up a little bit. So in goes the um, tortellini although it's like tortellini it's like Capelletti. You come try to read the Spanish on the front, um, but this is cool because it's just like the tiny, tiny little things, so they're not going to take too long to cook down at all. They chuck them in, chuck them stock in. So I'm gonna put some water in. Obviously, we have to boil this, so it uh, it'll boil down the the pasta. But of course, that's going to soak up a whole load of it. So that was 300 ml of water, and I might add a little bit more later if it needs it, as we can see. The van is not level. I'll let John off with that bit though. So I'll just have to keep stirring. So I'll give that about 10 minutes because it's only small and um, and see how it gets on. So as I am a really, really good vlogger, YouTuber, whatever you want to call me, I've just put a chicken stock cube in without recording it. So yeah, a chicken stock cube and some salt and pepper and I put a little bit of the tarragon in and I've put the lid on and now I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes. So I have just put another um, 300 ml of water in there because I was too busy chatting to live outside the van to keep an eye on my pan. So um, I've got a couple of pieces of pan fried tortellini. I'm sure that can only make it tasty. Um, anyway, so that's all come off the bottom. It's fine, nothing's stuck down now. So um, I will give that another five minutes or so, I think, just to bubble through. But look, it's all proper squishy. So the, the pasta's definitely cooking down nicely. And uh, then once that's done, and I'm sure it's done, I'll get chuck in the sweet corn and the Greek yogurt and the mustard in. So I nearly did it again. So there's some mustard I put in without filming it. And here is some mustard powder I'm putting in while I'm filming it. See, look at me. Recovered right at the end. But I'll tell you something. Not only is this little tin the cutest thing in the whole wide world, I do love Coleman's mustard powder just for adding a tiny bit of lovely flavour and a tiny little bit of a kick to creamy dishes. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Absolutely love it. But look how cute that tin is. I'm going to get the sweet corn in. A bit more tarragon. Sweet yogurt. So I'll get that chucked in there like that. Good to keep your pan on low when you um, put your Greek yogurt in so it doesn't curdle and then keep it on low so if you have to keep it on low for longer then at least it's not going to go all funny looking and it is only funny looking it's not funny tasting so it's still uh, perfectly edible and when you stir that all through it actually smells really good but because of the savoury stock the salt and pepper and um, the uh, mustard powder and everything that won't taste like yogurt i absolutely promise it will not taste like yogurt it just tastes creamy i just need to give that a very quick warm through and then i think we're going to be good to go I have one thing left because you can't have all of that meat and no cheese 
So that's literally just a decent amount of cheese stirred in nicely. Let's see. Give it two minutes just to melt that cheese in and um, then I will plate up and get scoffing because I'm starving. <laughs> Two, three, nice. That's good though. We got carried away. <laughs> I've finished. And uh, you're on your last couple of mouthfuls, aren't you? Mm. Yeah, but for now, enjoy it and let us know what you think of it if you try it yourself. Yes. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. Yes. Yum. Have a nice little exercise this morning. Oh, yes. I need it after that blinking meal you did last night. That was lovely, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was a bit spontaneous, wasn't it? Well, it's thanks to Em, really. You know, she's um, she was really good. She likes she likes exercising for the same reasons I do. Food. Yeah. And um, I've been having far too much food lately um, and not enough exercise. So I can feel it. I'm suffering already. I'm suffering already. My legs are, are killing me, but um, it was a good workout. It was a really good workout. It was about 45 minutes long mm. um, and very dusty. Yeah, um, well, that's what you get when it was a bottom of a reservoir, I guess, at yeah. one point. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't say that. So we could have some nice, can we find me some nice lush grass next time? Please? Lush grass. Grass would be lovely. All oh, right, maybe one uh, day. But no, it was a lovely workout, so uh, thanks, Em, and uh, for the encouragement too. It is so, strange, isn't it, that as two couples... Our similarities are really weird that you and M really are very similar in your klutziness, oh, good love God. of food, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And then me and Lou are like, we sat down yesterday and after five minutes we're going, um, well, I'm bored now. So Then I'm like sat with my Kindle and M was working, but you know, just, I was just like, yeah, we just, they, those two just get bored so quickly and it is uncanny uncanny how uh, how alike yeah. you are <laughs> honestly both pains in the asses as well thanks very much for that yeah you're welcome right time to get on the road uh, absolutely let's go find some things some churros hopefully churro churro <laughs> didn't <laughs> no churro <laughs> I met an old man I said tell me your story Got a notepad and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I watched him disappear like smoke. And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote He said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind Life is gonna happen Now we're gutted. We're going to go on that cliffside walkway. Oh, so excited. It looked epic. Just us two, though, because the others are a bit like, oh, thank you, scared about that one. Losers. Yeah, but um, yeah, we can't because it's shut for COVID rubbish or something. So, next spot. Yep, make a move. Let's go. Let's go and get them. Look, are they having a brew or something now? Probably in a snack. God, no it's doubt. a road trip. It's not a brew. <laughs> yeah, all the snack cupboards are empty, though. <laughs> Yeah. 
promises are good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my What a spot now, eh? This lake is absolutely fantastic. And um, it's not exactly in the mountains. Oh, Coop is here. Hey, Coop, what are you doing, bud? Can you see the lake? Yeah. Oh, your own personal lake, Moopy. Isn't that good? AJ's here as well. Hi, AJ. Have you got a lake as well? Yeah. Oh, the two of them are going to enjoy the lake. We set the vans up to give ourselves a bit of a uh, break from the wind and I think um, Em, Lou and Mandy are all looking forward to getting the kayak out on that lovely water there. So they're just trying to work out now how they can get in <laughs> and is it going to be safe. It's a little bit windy but uh, we'll be alright with that, it's not that bad. As long as we've got blue skies and it's fairly warm, it's about 18, 20 something like that. Morning, morning shock. <laughs> morning, ladies. Morning, oh, morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an epic place this is! So this is where we're ending up this week. It's a nice little spot, isn't it? It's a beautiful little spot. Just on the side of a lake stroke reservoir, and uh, we had some epic scenery on the way up here. Um, this wasn't actually the chosen spot. This is. Back up number three, I think. Yeah, it was. number three. Yeah. Um, the chosen spot was in El Churro, Churro. Mainly, I thought we could get churros there. Yeah, yeah. But it was all <laughs> kind of closed down. But there was nobody around, which was lovely. However, it's a hydroelectric dam, yeah. and there was a. Mm. And we didn't really have that great a signal either. No, so no, we didn't. On Wednesdays, I like to find a spot for a couple of days so I can edit the video, and I need really good signal, mainly for downloading music tracks. And obviously uploading the video Aye. and as i seem to be producing very long videos lately which can be <laughs> in excess of about eight gig it takes an awful long time to upload them so. yes, yes but mrs here did an amazing job because as you see us driving over the mountains into el churro mandy was driving that road which got quite sketchy at times oh yes it was um it was a very narrow very cliffy type road yeah. with lots and lots of inclines like that yeah um i'm very pleased with myself that was another step out of my comfort zone wasn't yeah. it because i don't normally um really i normally well. say i'll drive as much as you like but it's got to have um a white line in the middle of the road and a barrier at the side 
and that road had neither. It started off with a barrier, it but did, then yeah. that didn't last very long, did it? <laughs> Even the road surface didn't last long. No, did it? no, and I'm Get like, are we gravel? supposed to be going down this way? <laughs> well, no, it was uh, yeah, that was uh, that's number two on this trip for me for yeah. getting right out of my comfort zone. So now it's not as scary. So you might get some more decent drone shots now. I'm oh, willing to go. drive a bit more. And we're mentioning um, town names and stuff like that. Um, some of you keep asking, please tell us where you're staying and things like that. Um, we use a service called What Three Words. So you'll see it pop up on the screen wherever we park up. Obviously, if we drive through a town, we're not going to mention that because mainly that would take hours more to catalogue everywhere we've gone through and make a note of everything I mean, else. To be honest with you, even we don't keep a track of no. which towns we've gone to, all the routes that we take, because sometimes we can just veer off if we see yeah, something that random. looks nice, we just go off. and So we don't really keep a track to be able to pass that on to you guys. So yeah. it's just the information's just not kept. So wherever we stop the night and park up, um, we will include a What Three Words link, and that is um, a service which, if you go to What Three Words, so What the number, word yep. the number three and then words and then dot com the links on the screen now so you can see it yep but what three words dot com um, and then the three words we give you if you enter on that website it'll take you straight there if you download the app from your phone you can even then navigate using google maps or apple maps or Waze or whatever you can then navigate to that destination as well um, and i try and choose three words that are quite rememberable quite memorable as mm -hmm. well um, so you know, like um, custards drop ice cream or something like that. I don't know what that one is, but no, we can find out. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just a way that we found is the better way to um, actually pinpoint exactly where we are. Because sometimes you'll say, "Oh yeah, you, uh, you know, where exactly are you are? I want to see exactly what you I want to stay in the same spot as you." And what three words basically comes down to three meters squared, which is way more accurate. Than giving you the most local town because at the minute the yeah. most local town from here is five kilometers away yeah so that would be far too far if we would oh yeah we're staying in blah 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 then you'll never find this place and we couldn't even give you a road name right now because right now we are where roads never going to be because it's a reservoir yes if you look at where we are <laughs> on the reservoir uh, on, on google maps at the minute we're in the water yeah because that's where the reservoir was a lot higher when uh, the photo was taken yeah so that's the kind of service we use. We love what three words. We love the fact that we can give you an exact location that you can navigate to it. And the best thing we found about it as well is if you need to give that location to other people, that's where it really comes into it. Because say, for example, we met up with uh, Emma and Lou and they've met up with us and we can say, right, we're here. They know exactly where we are. Not even like a, oh, they're roughly in that area. Or, or in that car park, but they yeah. don't know whereabouts in that car park. They, they know, know where we are in that exactly car park. where we are. Yeah. So it's uh, it's perfect. And a lot, we've had a lot of people commenting saying that they've seen our ad on Facebook for yes. what three words. We've not been paid for that no. we just love it so much that that's our testimonial yeah we sent to them they took some photos and things from us and uh, and we are ever so pleased with it we think it looks yeah. amazing because they were really impressed with how we use it and they sort of like got in touch with us and said do you mind if we kind of like use your example to promote it and we're like yeah it's Absolutely. fine we love yeah. it so motor home for... adventurers don't you know <laughs> apparently we are aren't we <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so today's little park up as an example for that. I'll put the what three words on screen um, and then you can see why there's no other way I could have ever told you exactly where we are. Yeah. Um, so there we go. It's good to use it. And if you haven't got, like I said, we've had people saying they haven't got a smartphone, just use the website on um, on computers or, yeah. or anything like that. Then it is really easy to, to find. Yeah. So that concludes our little week of adventures. We are away from the beach now and we're going back up to the sort of mountains or the inland areas where mm. um, there are far less people oh, and it's oh, far was, more beautiful. It was so peopley down at the beach. I love mm. beaches and I did me swim and everything, but it was so peopley and now we've come away. It's like a bit breathing a bit of a, a sigh of relief. Mm. It's like the mountains are literally calling us. Yeah. And it's, um, I mean, on a slightly selfish note as well, we can sit here with no one else around and we don't need to put our masks on. Yeah, that's been one of so the, the we things. we are that far out of the way. Yeah, that's, we want to be that far out of the mm. way. So, And it's just lovely because why wouldn't you want to have space and time for yourself and stuff? Because mm. that's what all of this is about. We did it? some night photography as well last we night. We did well. some more. So I'll give you a couple of examples of them. I'm using uh, my Osmo Action Cam. So I apologise if the um, image quality is not perfect. You're using your little point and shoot. Yep, I've got a Canon G9X. Um, we don't use like the very best DSLRs or anything like that. We just use what works best for us. 
Um, obviously, in upcoming videos on uh, the Gadget John channel, I explain about all the gear and everything we use. But I think you can see from some of the images on screen now, they're pretty good for the little cameras, aren't they? Yeah, I'm blown away by my little camera from what I get from it. Because to be honest with you, I bought that because it's cool. It's got mm. a manual mode and it can go down to an F2. Mm. And it's just like that's really good for, for any atmospheric bokeh that you need. And I love shots like that. Yeah. And found out that, you know, night photography. Night photography as well, John. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. It was bloody cold, though. Oh, it was. Well, John went outside. I didn't. I just popped through the, uh, <laughs> the roof light over the bed. It was brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> right then well I hope you guys are all safe and well and um, having a good week yes whatever you're up to and we shall catch you next week from um, somewhere else in Spain no doubt aye I'm sure yeah. I'll take care guys alright see, see you soon. later bye, bye.